whenever i am testing a large language model my preferred tool is google colab or any notebook from any provider which includes even aws free tier or kaggle and there are few other options too the best thing about google colab is that it offers you a free gpu which is t4 gpu so all you need to do is to go to runtime change runtime type and then select your t4 gpu and save it and then you can use that gpu so pretty good and there are few other good things about google colab too but now we have another option which is lightning ai lightning ai is a full blown studio where you can do a lot of things and the best thing is that it has a free tier where you can have 22 free gpu hours monthly and if you have been using llms for your training fine tuning and just playing around with chat or instruction tuning then you might know that 22 hour gpu is pretty generous especially when there is a dear there is scarcity of these gpu devices all over the world you can build a lot of applications based on generative AI, including web apps you can do retrieval augmented generation and then even you can train your model fine tune them and share the weights of the model or the checkpoints of the model a model's checkpoint is a snapshot of a um, that model it at a specific point during training these checkpoints typically include the model's parameters which include weights and biases and other important states like the optimizer state the current epoch or the iteration number and other relevant information and there are a lot of things which are included in that checkpoint so saving your checkpoint sharing it with your team or just maybe just storing it for now and then resuming it later is a great uh, feature of this lightning ai which of course is not really possible or you would have to do some customization in order to accomplish that in google school app now all you need to do is to sign up with your email account and then it takes around a day or two to get you verified i think if you use your business email then it gets verified quickly but i have used my personal email and then uh, it took me it took around more than 24 hours to get verified so once you are verified you can log into lightning ai and then it onboards you and you can see that it provides you one free active studio plus 22 gpu hours monthly and you can of course code from browser or local id and then it is a persistent storage and it is quite uh, massive so you don't have to worry about space even in free tier also you can host your ai web apps you can share checkpoints and you can switch to gpus and you can do much more so let's get started it is going to walk you through so i'm just going to go with the dark mode just like vs code as you can see it is very similar to visual studio code and then coding experience where do you want to code uh, i think let's code in the browser i don't want to connect my local id and you can uh, connect by charm or this yes go and what data do you want to work with so let's go with maybe text for now just to keep this. maybe okay so we can select multiple images videos text so let's go with both and now you have to verify your phone number so let me put in my phone number and then i will resume i have verified my phone number and then you can connect your github account if you want but i'm not going to go do it at this point in time you can invite your other team members let's skip this step just click on open studio and it is going to open the studio in the browser as you can see and you can uh, take a tour if you like which is i would suggest if, if you are using it first time so one good thing about the tour is that you don't have to uh, worry about bringing your own data your own model and all that stuff you can simply start with their own example which is quite fine you can deploy an ai web app you can fine tune a model and then you can also run a hyperparameter sweep hyperparameter sweep is also called as hyperparameter tuning it is a process of systematically searching for the best set of hyperparameters for your model. Hyperparameters are settings that are external to the model that cannot be learned during training. So examples are like something like rate, learning rate, number of layers, number of neurons per layer, batch size, and so on and so forth. There are various hyperparameters which you can set. Hyperparameter um, 
tuning or optimization is quite you know laborious work but you can run it quite easily with this lighting ai okay so i'm just going to go with fine tuner model so as you can see that we are going to fine tune open ai's clip model out of very small data set and then we can um you know we will be using the cpu st uh, studio and use a gpu to 36 to increase the speed to 36 times and then you can also monitor the fine tuning with tensor board and share the public link with colleagues how good is that let's click on next and then it is giving you some more information about studio which you can read later on now the only thing uh, you need to learn is conda which is quite good which keeps everything nice and separate so you just need to start the studio and then studio remembers everything as i mentioned earlier it is quite persistent so let's click on i understand and it is setting up the quest so let's wait for it to finish and on this screen on the left hand side it is very similar to vs code you can see that there are few scripts your data set your fine tune dot by and then some getting started now what we are going to do here is we are going to fine tune a model on the basis of this data set so if you click on this data set this, this is just simply importing um, the data set which is a public data set just close it and this is the fine tune dot by for this example you don't need to worry about it all it is doing is it is using pytorch lightning which makes it quite easy to uh, fine tune model and you can easily um, do the fine tuning logic in pytorch pytorch lightning or ptl can fine tune any model written in pytorch and unlike other libraries ptl gives you full control over the tuning process you can so you can make modifications to the model and not be locked into model fine tuning process that you cannot control but of course there are various other methods to fine tune your model and i have discussed uh, and mentioned various them in my channel if you want you can search it out anyway so you can go through this code at your layer i'm not going to go through it at the moment but as i said all it is doing is it is loading the model it is fine tuning it on the basis of your data set it is mentioning some of the batch sizes and steps and all that stuff let's close it so click on fine tune and then it will open it again and you can see that right now we are using free cpu so what you can do here you can check uh, when you hover over your cpu you can see that it is uh, how much cpu consumption is there at the moment so first let's run this fine tuning on our cpu as you can see at the top so i'm just clicking on this top right run python file and let's wait for it to run it is running it in anaconda downloading the model so let's wait for it to finish there you go so it is running the first epoch and you can meanwhile also check the tensor board which will show you a lot of information around what is happening if there is any loss the performance of every epoch let's wait for it to finish if you want to see the performance of it you can see uh, on the right hand side click on tensor board and first time it will set up things and then it is going to show you the performance of any loss curves and that sort of stuff with your fine tuning so let's wait for it to load so this is a tensor board where you can see the time series or the scalars and all the losses and how your training is performing there you go so this is a trend loss which is decreasing as you can see you can also check out the scalars if you like and same the trend loss is decreasing as the fine tuning proceeds and in order to go back simply click on this vs code on the right hand side and you'll be back to the screen where our fine tuning is happening and you can see it is quite low on cpu and gpu available is false so let's wait for this one to finish and then we are going to run it on our gpu so i have cancelled the cpu because we just saw that it is taking long time now let's run it on gpu so 
So in order to run it on GPU, all you need to do is to just select your fine tuning script on the right hand side, click on this four CPU in the green and then switch to GPU. And from there, we'll just use one GPU and then this one. And it is telling you what exactly that is. If you hover across it and then confirm. And it is requesting it. It takes around under one minute as you can see the pointer. Now, one thing I want to mention here is that sometimes when you switch from CPU to GPU, there might be a NAND loss. NAND loss refers to loss value becoming a NAND, um, which is NAND stands for not a number. So just you can ignore it. There are ways to fix it. So it is already ready. Just switch. And it will set up things. I'll just go and then close. And let's wait. You can see the slider here. And you can see that now we have one T4 here on the top right. Now let's run the job. The job has started. And this should be very quick as compared to that CPU. There you go, you see how quick that is. It is li really lightning fast in Lightning A Studio. That is just the magic of GPU. And the GPU is, I believe, A10G from NVIDIA. So anyway, I will let it run or I'll cancel it. But you can see that how easy it is. And for free, you can fine tune and train your stuff on your own custom data by using Lightning AI. I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.